Hello, this is Greg Allison from Green Grace. Coming to you on the 4th of January, 2021. We're on the countdown to a showdown. In fact, uh, tomorrow is the day people are going to be arriving in D.C., with the 6th being the operative action day. So you might say we're almost at T-minus one days in counting. The countdown to the showdown. So what's going to go down? <laughs> it's certainly not going to be a hoedown, I'll tell you that. Uh, but one thing I will assure you, it will be a day to be remembered, no matter which side of the political aisle you stand on, uh, this will be a day you remember, and it'll be a day of momentous events, because there's so much tension. You know, I've done a lot of videos, and I've talked about these tensions. I've talked about the tensions in our country. I have done videos where I've called for calming down the tensions of this country, where I've asked people to put on their rose-colored glasses and try to see things as the other side sees them and to try to reach across the aisle and to make peace. But you can only do that so much, right? Uh, <laughs> hopefully, we, hopefully we can find our way through these consternations we're facing and find a way to put Humpty Dumpty back together again. But, you know, we're going to have a tough time because it, it, it is fever pitch and it's about to hit the crescendo. So will this mean that things are going to be in the end though? <laughs> are we going to, uh, and I've done a number of videos already on civil war. Let's hope it don't go there because the civil war is the ugliest thing you can possibly imagine. Let's hope we find some peaceable, truly civil way to work these things out to the satisfaction of uh, most concerned, or at least the majority of Americans, wherever you think that majority lies. <laughs> There's some consternation about that too, it seems, but holy smoke. We are in tough times. The tensions are through the roof and they're mounting and things are going to get very interesting. And we have international tensions that are interesting. You know what? I'm going to do a video tonight or tomorrow on a potential showdown between, of all places, Iran and who? How about South Korea? Iran in South Korea. Can you believe it? Wow. My friends, a lot of stuff's going down. A lot of things that's going around. You need to protect your family and your friends. The good news is I've got a real good special offer that can help you. $100 off a four-week supply of food for an individual. That's a month supply of food, four weeks per person. And for, for a person, what you get is $100 off and you get two of these buckets loaded with all kind of good, yummy food. It is uh, real meals. It is freeze-dried. You rehydrate it. It's yummy stuff. You get breakfast, lunch, and dinner. $100 off, well, that, wow, you'll be a winner. It's a great price still. Get it while the prices are still good because food prices are going up. It's a good time to get it and get ready. Cool thing is you can get pouches in here. You open that up. You can throw them in your backpack and bug out uh, or whatever you need to do. That, that This thing is something you can throw in a canoe or a car and if you're bugging out. Or it's great to bury for a cache eh, or, or put on your shelves in the home to bug in because this will last you, my friend. <laughs> And be sure to uh, uh, also get, go to prepwithgreg.com. That's how you find it, prepwithgreg.com. But when you go to prepwithgreg.com, uh, you will see there's a logo for My Patriot Supply. You can go click that and get all kind of other prepping supplies there. And you already ought to check them out. Oh, yeah, they do have gluten-free. They have protein-type meals, and they have you know, low-carb. Then they got also your uh, fruits and vegetables and things like that. Plus you can get all kind of other uh, year long uh, supplies, number 10 cans. You can get uh, other prepping supplies that you might need when you're out and about moving around. All right, enough said of all that. <laughs> some people are about to be on DC on the ground. You know, they could probably use some of these things because guess why? Here's the thing, DC has been shut down. So this is so let's talk about some things about this thing coming down. DC is being shut down. A lot of businesses are shut down. The mayor is going to ever, uh, pain possible to make it as painful as possible to people coming into town before it all goes down. So uh, they're claiming it's code. You know, <clears throat> okay, I don't want to say that word. That bug going around. That uh, so they're shutting things down for that reason. Well, okay. Uh, <laughs> uh, so you know, uh, the people going there really do need to be. If you're on your way there, and there's people from both sides of the going up there, but this is a, a mega mega march so mega mega march hmm. i like things to alliterate so uh there's going to be a, a lot of people there and they're mostly going to be on the mega side so i would uh, suggest to folks uh going to be a stowing to bring their own food 
and, and, and maybe even you need to bring some water. Uh, you might need to bring shelter. You might need a tent, sleeping bag. Can you sleep in your vehicle? Is it, or is it, you got your little car? You might want to sleep in a little car. But you know what? There's that national mall. There's a few places around you could throw out a tent. But maybe it's going to be crowded even for that. I hear all the hotels are booked up. But good luck finding food and restaurants and things like that. Good luck finding service. And my gosh, that place is going to be thronged with people. It is going to be packed. Now, uh, supposedly the Second Amendment has been suspended. But a lot of people are already on their way. They got whatever they got. That's going to be interesting. It's going to be interesting. Very interesting. Now, also the National Guard has been called out. Okay. But only 340 of them so far. 340 National Guardsmen and, and some police officers with hundreds of thousands of other people showing up, maybe up to one and a half million, according to some claims. There'll be a lot of people there, a lot of people. Just that alone is going to make it super interesting. Here's what's cool. I got a person on the ground. I know somebody's there and uh, I'm going to get in contact with them and we're going to try to do some Zoom sessions. Uh, during the course of this, uh, probably on the 6th with, with the individual that's going to be there. I'm going to try to do a Zoom session. If I can bring it live, I got some work to do. See so if I can pull that up. It may just be recorded and posted. But I'm going to get firsthand reports from location there on site in D.C. So think about that. So I'll have something to bring to you. Just so you can see what's going on. So you can see what's going around. What's going down. Whatever you think about it. So... <clears throat> It's what's happening here. So on the 6th, of course, you know, we've got uh, the, the Electoral College uh, uh, delegates being presented to the Congress. And that is under contention, much contention. It's going to be protested by members of the House and Senate, which kick in certain rules for certain things to have to happen, which means there's going to be some debate. And I think for every thing they bring up, they get two hours of debate time and they're bringing up enough stuff to kick in, as I understand, at least 12 hours of debate. And that sounds like something to go beyond the sixth, because that's when it starts. So these guys are up there, that the, the mega, the mega march, whatever you want to call it, is <laughs> it's up there for, uh, you know, the sixth. Uh, so just the debates themselves, but the people will be arriving tomorrow. They'll be there on the sixth. Uh, they don't leave the next day. Well, someone may hang around. I'm sure some will, some may come back. So the 6th is going to be the biggest day of uh, the march, the events, whatever they're doing up there. Uh, I don't know if they've got speeches. I'm sure there's going to be a lot of speeches and protests and singing and scuffling probably. Guess you could cross who knows what's going to happen. If you're on your way there, if you're going there, and some of you will be, just don't walk into a, a trap. <laughs> Keep your eyes wide open and head on a swivel if you're there. And if things start going down and getting hot, you might want to spread out. Tactical. We talked about tactics in a previous video. Troops on the move, you know, like you know, three meters apart at least. <laughs> you know, that way the shrapnel doesn't get everybody. So, hey, you know, at least at least 15 foot, well, five foot if you have to, because you, well, you might not be able to at all. There's so many people up here, maybe I'll be shoulder to shoulder. Wow, it's going to be crowded. It's really going to be crowded. And like I said, it'll be interesting. So, all this said, the, what was I getting to? So, the, uh, what's happening in Congress? It's going to go into Thursday, just that alone. Word out is this. What I'm hearing is that Cruz is going to propose an audit. If his proposal is seconded and voted on and approved, I said, if, 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 I don't know what's going to come. I'm trying to figure it out. <laughs> so far, I'm getting more out of here than here. <laughs> so, is that clear? That is kind of clear. <laughs> it's pretty, if nothing else, right? It's, it's shining some light around. It's nice, right? Ooh. <laughs> All right, so here's what you here's what you need to know. If Cruz gets his uh, proposal, his motion made and put into whatever form they put it out there, I don't know if it'll be a bill in this case, because uh, it'll be a rule. It'll be like a, a, a con congressional rule, I suppose. 
if they do that, if he's talking about a 10 day event, 10 day audit to, to look at what went on with the vote. Now an audit is an audit. It should be honest. So, you know, if there's nothing for the people on the other side of the aisle to be worried about, they should be okay. It's gonna be an audit. We'll see what happens. I don't know, I have no idea. No idea. I'm supposed to before they is there is there making their case and they may take them a day and a half to make the case to call for the audit. It might be 10 days after that. So you might be talking the 17th, maybe the 18th. It's just right up before swearing in day before all that comes down. I mean, this thing could go down to the 20th. It literally could go down to the 20th almost. With all the stuff going around, will the Supreme Court get in it? Will the House wind up actually voting who's president? for the terms laid out in the Constitution, you know, for a contested election. Is that going to happen? Mm, I'm not seeing it. <laughs> not there. <laughs> it's, it's a clear ball. <laughs> a little too clear, maybe. <laughs> so, hey, good little prop. It's a lot of fun to use. So, Mm, maybe I'll see things one day in there. <laughs> All right. Just kidding. All right. So, guys, listen. The uh, This event is going to be a head spinning for everybody around the country. It's going to, I don't care what, where you stand, what you think, this is going to be a head spinning <sighs> event. It's going to be something else. And it may get wild in D.C. But I'm thinking of this whole thing, if it's delayed, it's going to kind of tamp things down a little bit. That might be the best thing for peace. But of course, come, you know, that many days later, you will see a lot of these people still hanging on, or a lot of them coming back up there. That's going to be interesting. What's going to happen? What is going to happen? I've heard allegations of what people would do. Would they really do those things? Some of it's over the top. But, you know, maybe this will calm things down, at least get things aired out. That's what we can hope for, get things aired out, then let the chips fall where they may. And hopefully all this will get settled out once everyone's had their say. Hopefully we can get it settled, and settled appropriately, so that the will of the American people, whatever you think that will is, is irrespective of whatever the will actually is, gets recognized. That's the ultimate hope, that the real will of the people gets recognized. And I'm not saying what that is. I'll leave it up to you to think about, but let it be whatever it is, okay? <laughs> if you think, whatever you think is immaterial, whoever you are, <laughs> okay? Let it be what it is, not what we think. Let it be what it is. So I'm taking all the prejudice out of this right now. Just let it be. Hopefully we'll figure that out and be able to move forward. And hopefully all the right decisions get made. Hopefully, hopefully. Well, so we are talking about Congress. <laughs> As you know, Congress is the opposite of progress. Okay, I, div I diverge here. But my friends, it's a big mystery. But what I'm saying is this could go down literally almost to the, to the wire for the swearing in. It could go so close, it's not funny. It really could. And, and the whole point is, Trump's not conceding until all of that is said and done. If he concedes at all. But come the 20th, come the 20th, somebody's going to be taking an oath. That's going to be interesting. Come the 20th, somebody's going to have to be taking an oath. Now, what happens between then and now will be interesting. There's a lot of tension. A lot of people are going to be there. There's going to be a lot of people. Uh, it may not be over, it won't be over after that. Even after somebody is sworn in, whoever you think it is, I'm not even going there. After that, whoever gets sworn in is not going to be accepted by the other half. That, that's just a given. It's just not happening. It is going to be contentious. The division is there, it's set, it's going to be wow. So it's not over. That's why you need to consider those prepping supplies, my friends. It's going to be interesting for some time to come. That's what is coming to you in 2021. I'm 
I'm going to talk a little bit more about 2021, but I'm going to wait until the election before. I'm going to do another video, a 2021 things to come kind of uh, video, but I'm going to wait until it's pretty darn clear what's going on. I get a little better beat on it. There's some things that uh, I think we might ought to talk about here. So in order to see what's coming on this channel, make sure to subscribe, bang the up not notification bell and click all. And you will see what I got to talk about down the road. I do cover a lot of things. I'm, I'm, this channel is too broad, really. I got, I got liberal and conservative in middle of the road subscribers. I got subscribers that don't even like each other. <laughs> most of my core group that follow most stuff are pretty much the same mindset, but not everybody. Because I, I've got gardening, worm farming, microgreens, aquaponics, and then I talk about prepping. In the course of talking about prepping is I'm, I'm, I'm trying to bring you a uh, situational awareness. I tell all you people, keep your eyes wide open and head on a swivel. Right now is the biggest time for that, right? So <laughs> I affectionately uh, refer to my followers as swivel heads because I know you're the best at it. But, you know, the people on the prepping side and everybody on the gardening side aren't always, the, you know, the same mindset about these things. That's why I try to be a little bit on the, you know, try to keep it neutral when I'm bringing you these news items. Uh, there are certain things, though, that I'm going to stand for, and that's our freedoms. I ain't going to stand for that. <laughs> there are certain freedoms I pretty, I really do appreciate, you know? <laughs> you know what I mean? So yeah, don't, don't expect me to yield on, on, on some of those, because, you know, if it's in here and it's a freedom, I'm for it. And if you're for it, you might want to join me by joining the Freedom Restoration Foundation. Uh, so if you define the Freedom Restoration Foundation, the best way is to email me, info at freedomrestorationfoundation.org and put freedom in the subject line. And then we're, we're, we're making a list of, 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 our, of our perspective, actual joint members. We do have a Facebook site, Freedom Rest Restoration Foundation. On Facebook, we've got a MeWe site. So we've got ways that we're reaching out to people and people are communicating. Uh, we've got a chapter in Arizona. <laughs> yes. Some of you may know, uh, well, I'm not going to go in there right now, but we've got, uh, it's based out of Phoenix right now, but we've got an Arizona chapter. And we've got, uh, uh, we've got people in, in New York, Washington State, uh, Wisconsin, and of course, we've got a strong group here in Alabama and a local chapter here in Alabama. And we're building our website. I'm having a meeting tomorrow on that. Hopefully, if everything goes well, uh, we've got everything set up to build it. We're just building our website. So you should see that coming soon uh, and a lot more. The reason I say to email me is, uh, you, know, if, you know, Facebook is, it's got its place, but you know, that can get shut down. So we need something a little more permanent for our members to go to. All right. All that said, you can also join our uh, survival tries by same email info at freedomrestorationfoundation.org and putting tribes in the subject line. I've got a spreadsheet now. I've, I've got identified leads. We've got tribes in Arizona and Alabama so far. Uh, there is a tribe in Arkansas. Uh, so I'm, I thought I had one set up for California, but that fell through. The individual decided to leave the state. <laughs> so they're coming this way. <laughs> so if you are on the West Coast and you want to be a tribe, uh, if you want to lead up a tribe in that area, if you got property, email me. We'll talk about that down the road. And I've got, I'm still trying to communicate with some of these people that I've identified as potential leads. I've been, I've called a few times and not made contact with. I really want to talk to the individuals. Email, just don't have that depth of communication I'd like to establish with the individuals that I'm hoping to lead this. But it takes time to call people and reach through to them. Some of the phone numbers aren't good. I'm going to have to email a few of them. Anyway, all that said, I digress. Just bear in mind that we got an interesting time coming. Get ready. Brace yourself. Uh, yeah, I'll bring this to you as it unfolds. Who knows what's going to come out? Who knows? This thing ain't telling me. <laughs> we'll just have to stay tuned to find out. Well, that said, if you watch this far, say, Greg, I'm going to stay tuned to find out what comes next. And with that said, I'm going to say thank you, everyone, for watching. Hope you all have a wonderful, wonderful new year. 
in spite of everything going down, let's hope that we do, everyone does well.